I'm Conway Gittins reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Here's what we're watching on the street today. Inflation, earnings, and interest rates drove market action on Thursday. Consumer inflation dropped month to month for the first time in four years, bolstering hopes for a Federal Reserve interest rate cut as early as September. On the earnings front, Delta says there are too many airline seats, which put pressure on ticket prices last quarter, leading it to a sales miss. PepsiCo also failed to hit sales forecasts, saying consumers are fed up with price hikes. Attention now turns to the big banks, reporting on Friday. In other news, an ammunition company is betting Americans won't mind buying bullets along with their bread. American Rounds is setting up vending machines inside supermarkets that carry a wide array of bullets. These machines, which are encased in 2,000 pounds of steel, are equipped with other security measures, including artificial intelligence, card scanning, and facial recognition. Buyers have to be at least 21 years old. A state-issued ID and a credit card have to be inserted into a card reader to verify identity and age. The information is then matched with images taken from a camera mounted on top of the machine. If all checks out, the bullets load into an accessible bin like any other product in any other vending machine. The company's website says, quote, this robust system ensures that all transactions comply with federal and local regulations, maintaining the highest standards of responsible sales. The machines can be found in 10 supermarkets, mainly across the South. That'll do it for your daily briefing from the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Conway Giddens with The Street.